What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's reaction video is the five stages of Chicago winter. It's a Lossom Upon video and I know it's generalised on Chicago, which we don't normally yeah. do. Apparently this video is sick. Okay. A lot of comments have said it's a masterpiece, it's great. And it, it reminds me of, we did that one, didn't we? Where it was kind of more cinematic, it wasn't his joke and Yes, self. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I like those once in a while. Yeah, definitely. So it was part of that. I it should be nothing really good. Less, though, from the Very true, it is lots of fun. Go and check them out, his links in the description. Um, but I'm excited for this. Are you I'm excited? Sad. Yeah, this looks sick though. That is a nice background. Yeah. Let's get into it. Lots of ponds, the five stages of a Chicago winter. Let's go. <laughs> it's that like time of year again <laughs> when the autumn leaves disappear under a carpet of cold white sh In fact, cold white sh comes to dominate the city and can be found on park benches, treetops and roads where it subsequently turns into cold brown sh experience. What do you got against snow? He <laughs> does right. not like snow. Yeah, it's sure taught me that there isn't just one but several stages to coping with the windy city's coldest season. At least three of them involve whiskey. For the perpetually <laughs> curious, the job has fallen to me to guide you through each stage. So if you're not subscribed to this channel, do that now. That For me, it all started in February 2007 when I truly learned the value of staring off into the middle distance. I was visiting my then American hey. fiance, who is now my wife, but uh, still American. One night, I found myself whispering sweet nothings into her ear, such as Hi. Or So, personal question. In your infinite wisdom, how far is the Sears Tower from this, the bountiful kingdom of Indiana? About 200 miles. Also, how is that a personal question? To me, it was deeply <laughs> personal. To me, it is completely and utterly a little bit personal. For as long as I could remember, I'd harbored a fascination with the Sears Tower bordering on sizable. In the early 1990s, my dad had taught me it was the tallest building in the world. Now that I lived one state away, I had to see it for myself. Okay. I could barely contain my excitement until somebody switched on the weather. The Chicagoland area will see wind gusts of up to 22 miles per hour with wind chill right around minus 2 degrees Fahrenheit or minus 19 Celsius if you're watching this report from the UK for some absolutely bizarre reason. Finally, I just want to say as well, we're recording this on the 24th, so Christmas Eve. There has been reports because he's talking minus two wind chill of minus 30 yeah. Fahrenheit wind chill, which is absolutely insane. So we hope all you legends are safe mm -hmm. and sound because um, that's horrible, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It just reminds me. And yeah, hopefully all you legends are safe because... And warm. And warm. That is the main thing, especially for Christmas. We hope you had a fantastic Christmas as well. Yeah. But hopefully you stayed safe. Hopefully didn't ruin any of your plans. Fingers crossed expect to see up to two feet of cold that white accent in the early afternoon. Despite my initial concerns, we arrived at my wife's consensus and went to Chicago that very day. I saw the Sears Tower, marveled at its general height, and lost the will to live after about 30 minutes. <laughs> Being absolutely broke, we opted not to go inside, which is a pity because I'd forgotten to bring my gloves. And earmuffs. And a proper winter jacket. Being a stubborn 25-year-old, I quickly reasoned that it wasn't my fault. The blame lay squarely at the feet of the unrelenting tundra that is Chicago. I vowed that very day to never catch myself living in the Windy City, a promise I kept for almost 10 years. But now that I'm living in Chicago, I've learned two very important things. One, it pays to wear the right clothes. And two, living in Chicago and visiting are two very different things. Researchers believe that human beings remain the only species in the observable universe to periodically alter their clocks. And I know okay. what you're thinking, ooh, Lawrence, the clocks went back in autumn, not winter, so this doesn't gel with the rest of the video. I'm quite aware of that, thank you, but the effect that it has on daylight is felt most keenly in the winter, so shut it. And of course, such clock tinkering is not exclusive to Illinois. The end of daylight saving time affects all states that don't rhyme with Lawaii or Arizona. <laughs> However, it doesn't affect all places equally. On December 21st, the shortest day of the year, Chicago goes dark at 4.23 p.m. In Indianapolis, where I used to live, 
5.23 p.m. And this isn't just down to the time difference between the two cities or the fact that one is more southerly than the other. It's also impacted by where they sit along those time zones. Indianapolis is at the extreme west of the eastern time zone and therefore gets darker almost an hour later than cities on the east coast. Chicago, meanwhile, is at the extreme east of the central time zone, meaning that it gets darker almost an hour earlier than central Nebraska. But I know it's only an hour, but it makes a difference. It does make a difference, yeah. It's so miserable, especially if you work it. I think if you're working and you leave working, if you get That's to work in the I dark... That's what I find hard in the winter. Yeah. You arrive dark, you leave dark. You leave it's dark. It's like you don't experience daylight. No, you're literally just sat in an office, yeah. you get your lunchtime and that is it, and you're limited to that hour or whatever you get. But it still get. doesn't feel like you've seen the day literally it's um, weird so if you've got that hour where even if it's half an hour of daylight that must make a difference that's why i like that's as we're going to the summer months that's why i like it because it feels like the day even though the day is not longer yeah well it, it's, it's sometimes it feels like you're you're gaining hours definitely it definitely is longer though because sunrise is earlier and it sets so later it's definitely a longer day yeah but i still wake up at the same time oh yes yeah, wake up at the same it's time do it. like my but, day is still the same length but the day lasts longer no nah, yeah. i know what you mean and i can do golfing after work it's only well. 24 hours in the day wait what how many 24 i, oh, I thought you said 25 four no, everyone we play that let's all really say this is I definitely 24, didn't say 25. 25 i was like what i'm um, I'm, I'm dumb but not that dumb. <laughs> i thought i'd caught you out then yeah but um it makes a big difference to daylight doesn't it so i think you've got to go for the state which has the longer longer days yeah between the two cities, Chicagoans might argue that they got the raw end of the deal. And from experience, few things feel as daunting as leaving work and catching the L train 30 minutes into night time, especially when Chainsaw Jim is on board and refusing to give up two of his three seats. On the flip side, the winter solstice does see oh, Chicago so nice. get lighter earlier in the morning than Indianapolis, which is good news for parents and my kitty cat. Because only an animal would dare to upstage me. Tragically, as a YouTube sensation, it's unlikely I will ever again be awake in time to enjoy this benefit, so post your condolences Hard life. below. Hard mm. life. We, we still have jobs, so we have to get up further. We're not sensational. Yeah, we're, we're just YouTube people. <laughs> Thankfully, though, winters in Chicago don't entirely amount to one poorly lit hellscape, unless you're doing the midnight breaststroke in Lake Michigan. Naked. In the run-up to Christmas, the city breathes <laughs> under the buzzing lights of Chris Kindle Market, Lincoln Park Zoo, and the Party City on West Fullerton. I go there. Mm. The sound of Christmas music emanating from the shops is enough to make this Englishman forget all about the bad stuff. Okay, that's not quite true. I mean, we've all heard wonderful Christmas time, right? Oh, that's cute. The point is, the festive period has the capacity to touch the heart of not just me, but every Chicagoan, even the ones who sound angry but aren't. At Christmas, even the cold white sh feels pleasant against my face and mom i hope you watch this video from the beginning while ice skating usually has the undesirable effect of annihilating my ankles i can still enjoy the happiness that it brings other people and i'm definitely realize. not here to watch any of them yeah. for we've jersey's not put the ice rink up this year yeah we never had an ice rink this year do we we normally get a communal like ice rink don't we just for the december but not this year Rude. Yeah, maybe next year. I used to love going to the ice rink. I can't ice skate, but... Yeah, me neither. Well, you're really bad at ice skating, aren't you? At least I can actually go off a little bit. You just stick to the side. All right. No, you are. You are bad. We, we did it in New York, didn't we? Yeah. <laughs> you enjoyed it, though, did you? But the thing in... The, the problem with the New York one is I've ever been, only ever been on the Jersey one, which is tiny. You can get around it in seconds and, like, there's barely any people. The New York one, God, I had... At one point, I had to try and go around people and I... Uh, it wasn't going... It wasn't going... <laughs> oh. And yes, Chris Kindle Market, a German Christmas tradition in which people from all walks of life get to find out what it's like to be in an episode of Rick Steves Europe. The mulled wine, the bratwursts, the festive vocabulary, but in German. This is Christmas in Chicago. Awesome. Looks so pretty. Just with the from snow. the first yeah. Christmas songs to the New Year's Eve fireworks off Navy Pier, the holiday season can make newbies to the city believe that Chicago winters represent a sort of utopian paradise. But just as with fireworks, what goes up must come down. Am I scared? <laughs> it must get freezing. The American author Eric Larson once wrote, I must confess a shameful secret. 
I love Chicago best in the cold. And while that's easy to say when you have the world's most Scandinavian name, it ceases to be true in my case the minute I hang up my calendar. You have to remember, I grew up in the English town of Grimsby where the average January <laughs> temperature is around 38 degrees Fahrenheit. And as a child, I thought that was cold. Well, I gotta tell you, Larry, in the Chicagoland area that same month sees average temperatures 11 degrees colder than that. For my inexplicably high number of British viewers, Chicago's January average is close to minus 3 degrees Celsius, making it's it the city's coldest America. month. Yes. Thanks, Cody. January is to December what the fourth National Lampoon's film is to its predecessor, all downhill after Christmas. Where once the city was vibrant, by January it descends into a desolate hellscape moonlighting as the third largest city in America. Shops are not closed but feel like they are. And the leaves, a thing of warm, fiery beauty in my October special, now implanted Amen. into the sidewalk like the Fallout Boy tattoo that my wife's cousin Chad claims to have on his arse. But just as that dramatic image remains mercifully hidden underneath the unlikely hero that is his camo pants, the sidewalks too become buried under eight inches of cold white sh**. He don't like snow, does he? No, I love snow. It's and it's usually it. at that very moment that I hear music. Oh, there he is. Hello. Oh, he's on the phone. Hello. How do you... No. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, yeah, oh hi, Lawrence. Yeah, I see you typing there. This is Lawrence. How's July 2023 treating you? That's good. Yeah, February. Well, you've already been through February. Hey, listen, to make this easier and to advance the plot of the video, could you switch on your microphone and camera? Oh, hello, can you hear me? Yes. Great. Future you is having a fantastic time. Well, that's good to hear, Future Lawrence, because, you know, February me isn't, I'm afraid. Well, that's not good. Did Tara forget Valentine's Day? Well, no, that, that's our job. Don't, don't you remember anything? Sorry, you know, a lot's happened in the last eight months. You mean five months? Well, no, because technically you released this special in November, even though you're playing the February and July versions of yourself. It's very confusing. The point is, you don't know it yet, but you have a big life event coming up before okay, you even get to February. Okay, but I'm in February Stay now tuned. and it's, it's awful. Okay, are you going to refresh my memory? I mean, it's Chicago, February, you know, when our seasonal affective disorder kicks in. Oh, that. Yeah, I mean, we always talk about it, you know, how we mentally assign colours to every month of the year. So, like, November is black with hints of yellow to signify earlier evenings and bonfires. Is it? And July is an intense orange to signify sizzling food and warm beaches. Yeah, all right. But ever since we moved to Chicago, do you remember which colour we assigned to February? Blue. Yeah. Blue, a depressing shade of cerulean blue. <laughs> well, come on. I mean, at least cerulean has the distinction of being a perfect anagram of our name. So it does. Very good point. Very good point. But look, <laughs> it's not even it's that it's Chicago's coldest month. It just feels like it is. I mean, it's also the shortest month of the year. And yet somehow in this city, it feels like the longest. You, you expend all of that winter energy at Christmas. You push yourself through January, knowing you've at least devised a weight loss plan to keep you occupied. And then February hits and you realize you've got to do it all over again. <laughs> Except the weight loss part. And I'm sitting here wondering... Will it ever end? I mean, as somebody who's been through it, I can tell you this, right? It's just like all of the other years. February never ends until it does. And then you forget what the big fuss was all about. There you go. Yeah. Well, I suppose you're right. So what was this big life event then? Oh, don't worry about all of that. All will be revealed in an upcoming special. Look, for now, I've, I've got to go. The weather report says it's going to plummet down to 83 degrees in the afternoon. Give my love to your wife, our wife. Yeah. Will do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait. I mean, this is a great video. Mm. And I expect it to be like the last one, just what? And yeah. it is just like, what is going on? Yeah. But it is awesome. We do also know, I think we know Lawrence's life event. I was just thinking that. We're not, we're not obviously, we're obviously not, not going to release it. it. But I'm pretty sure we do know what it is. I'm pretty sure we're doing it is, and it's awesome. So go and check Lawrence's channel out and watch out this um, special. Maybe it's going to be a Christmas special? I don't maybe, know. It may already be out. I don't know. I don't think it is. I've been watching it. When know. we did Act Lab, it wasn't out yet. We know that. No, it, I don't um, think it is out. So go and check Lawrence's channel out because he does have a big event, a big announcement, hopefully soon. And um, it's an awesome one. So go Good. and check his channel out. Links in the description. So, yeah. It's weird when the know-how on a video. That's weird. It's so weird that we know something major in Lawrence's life. Yeah, and we just watch it. It's weird. But anyway, we're just teasing you as much as he is now. <laughs> 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 oh, <I don't. laughs>
I used to say that I could only stomach life in Chicago six months out of the year. But I think... I think I was wrong about that. I think it's closer to 10. Around mm -hmm. March the 1st, I don't know, something happens to my brain. And the psychological barriers that winter had put up begin gradually to fade. Instead of cerulean, I now see mostly brown That's with good. faint hints of green as if I were looking at a restoration hardware or an English football pitch from the 80s. <laughs> Average March temperatures in Chicago, Cody Dewpoint, are... Uh, let me see here, uh, about eight degrees warmer than in February. But more than that, March is when winter technically comes to a close. And Chicago even finishes winter the way it started it, with festivities. The city's St. Patrick's Day celebrations more or less mark the end of winter, with thousands of drunk revelers gathering to stare at a green river dressed in the very same colour, sporting complexions not far behind. Okay, I might be exaggerating awesome. a bit. Mm -hmm. Come to think of it, that might be where those hints of green come from. It's certainly not from the leaves, which, much like me, don't show themselves until the middle of April. It's fair to say that America is a vast country. No two cities experience the pain of winter in quite the same way, except for Minneapolis and St. Paul, but only because they're twins. While the US is home to several regions with colder winters than Chicago, no single city in England can say the same, not even Narnia. For that reason alone, <laughs> I might never come to terms with stages three and four, and believe me, I've tried. I even dress like Han Solo in that bit where he slices open a tauntaun, and yet I find his carbon freeze arc way more relatable. Thanks for watching this video and sharing it with all of your Chicago friends. Until the next video, goodbye. Awesome, I'm glad you had to see yeah. Stuart's house. Is that Lawrence as well? Yeah, it's him. A very yeah, old school Lawrence. Awesome that he managed to see it. Um, and he's missing his ear muffs as well. Yeah. Awesome video. Good video, I like that? that, yeah. We're not going to visit Chicago in the winter. No. Definitely after that. We'll go for summer. Yeah. Smash that like button, guys. Smash that subscribe button. Have a fantastic day. And we'll see you legends in the next one. Peace.